everyone, Amanda here, thanks so much for joining me. So today I'm doing my um, Altered Index card, this is the new weekly challenge over on my Facebook group, Create with Scrimpy and Mummy, link in the description box below. <laughs> That's that bit over with. So the prompt for this week was Wings on Things, <laughs> which I thought was a fun prompt and it's interpret. I, I try and come up with ideas that you can interpret lots of different ways. Okay, so I'm going to get on with mine. As you've seen before, I've got this ring bound index card, like revision booklet thing that I've used for other um, challenges. I'm going to carry on going. So that was last week's. So I'm just going to turn it over. I will uh, at some point do on the back there. I'll go backwards maybe. I don't know, but I'm doing this one today. So I've glued two together and I'm doing it this way. Uh, that's portrait isn't it yeah portrait landscape so I'm doing it portrait because what I've chosen is quite large so I've pre-done some things so I've pre-stamped this um, lovely image and the stamp is absolutely horrendous to use um, in fact it's 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 gonna get flung in the this stamp is rubbish box it's awful it's horrible to use but I've managed but it does stamp a lovely image it's, it's just a weird stamp it's like I don't know, that doesn't stick onto anything. You can't peel it off and it's not lined up and it's horrendous. Anyway, last morning I'm more creative. Then I've stamped these and I've stamped them onto mixed media paper. I've not decided if I'm colouring them with pens or watercolours, but I've got a pretty good idea. Then I have stamped this on the same mixed media paper. I've just used archival ink and this is a lovely stamp set and it was free with an indigo blue magazine. Um, you know in like a box then I mean they're not cheap but you get these big stamp sets with them so if you see them pick them up now I've done one of both wings and then one uh, I've stamped it again and then I've cut out just one wing because I've not decided if I'm having two wings going across her like so or if I'm going to have two wings that way just coming from the back you know at the side uh, like that I've not decided so I'm going to colour them all then I've delved deep, deep within my heart, really deep, and I'm going back about eight years. <laughs> I've got this, excuse me while I just take a drink, this scrapbooking paper, it's absolutely beautiful. I think it was called Mariposa, and I've not touched it. Um, a lady that I knew at the time gave it me, and uh, it's beautiful, and, but I've not used it. So we're going to rip it up today and we're going to use it. Right, so let me just roughly mark there and up to the top. This is just going to be my background right about there. So I think I'll just use my ruler. Just, oops, I'll just bash the camera. Um, so let's just get this to size and then we can um, get cracking. Uh, where did I actually make that mark? Oh, it's there. Alright, so I'm just using my ruler to rip it. Although by the time I've done messing about, I could have got my trimmer out. But hey ho. <laughs> I like to make life difficult for myself. Don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, I like to do everything the hard way. <laughs> anyway, off we go. Let's have a look. About there. I reckon so. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Right, so oh, that's not bad that. That's not a bad uh, not a bad fit. Um it could just maybe do with being a little bit shorter there. So let's just give it a trim. As I say, I'm not too worried if it's not straight and things like that. This is just a background. And I just thought it was really pretty. I'm going to rough the edges up. And hopefully, it's going to be quite a quick idea. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, but then again, if it starts where it's taking me a long time, I will fast forward and do a voiceover. Although I've started to think that I don't... Uh, it doesn't matter if some videos are long. 
Um, some videos are really popular and some aren't. It's just, uh, that's just how it is. Right, so I'm going to stick it on and I want to ink it first. So I've got salvage patina and peacock feathers. I'm not quite sure which is going to be. I know I'm going for the blues. Um, I want to go for the blues and pick out that vibrant blue there, look. That's what I'm um, hoping for. So we'll start with salvage patina to give it just a bit of a blue haze to this beige background, which I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, doke, that's that. And then let's just go in a bit, a bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to go with peacock feathers, I think, because I know that's lovely and, and vibrant. I like vibrant. I like vintage, but I also like vibrant. It's a bit of a dilemma, but I don't see why you can't have both. I really don't. You can have what you want. <laughs> right, so I always like to go heavier on the corners. So that will very much do. So I'm going to glue it on with my gel medium. I just think it's a bit, it's, um, you could just use glue stick, absolutely you could, but I find that over time um, things stuck down with glue stick don't always stay stuck down with glue stick, if you know what I mean. Whereas with this, hopefully, it will be there until, you know, the end of time. <laughs> I mean, I don't suppose it matters. Use what you've got. That's one of my sayings. Use what you've got. Doesn't matter. Right, so sticking that down. And I've cut it a little bit short there, but never mind. Let's just centre it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right, so there's my background. So I could say that's done. <laughs> it's pretty enough. Uh, but no, I'm going to ruin it with some more stuff. Um, so let's get my wings. So what I want, what do I want to do with these? I think I'm going to just give them a bit of a watercolour wash. And I'm going to use few different few different colors and oh, let's just see what happens okay so we're just water smoosh what I call water smooshing so you put a uh, water and ink on your desk and then you smoosh your whatever you're coloring into it yep I'll do this one Get it round the edges so that it gets rid of some of that. Right. That'll do. Let's just clear that up and then I'm just going to heat set that and then we're going to figure out a way of adding some green so that they don't look just like flat, flat um, wings. Get this dried off first. Okay, so that just gives us a nice kind of a background, I suppose. I think I'm going to use my watercolour pencils to add some bright colours to the outer parts. There's no need to like go mad and add loads because it's going to be kind of tucked behind the dress form. So let's just have a look what we've got. Could do with like a dark, a 
let's have a look. Let's have a look what colour's gonna go nice. I quite like number nine. I quite quite like that purple colour. But we don't have any purple in there, do we? Let's have a look. Right, we'll go for number ten, I think. Number ten and number eleven. That might be nice. And number thirteen. Ten, eleven and thirteen. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ten. Where's ten? I can't even remember what colour ten was. There it is. Ten. Eleven. And then this green. I said, didn't I? So let's have a look. So ten's the lighter. That's the darker. That's the green. All right. Let's just have a bit of a play. I think I want... Um, let's have a look. I have some green on the outside. I'm not putting a lot down. I'm just gently scribbling a, a little bit of green on the edges there. I'm going to do both sides even though I might cut one away because I've, I've not fully decided what I'm doing yet. And we'll do it here. So we'll just ask, add in green to the outer edge. Then we're going to go with the lighter blue kind of here. We'll do a line there. Same here. So I'm not really colouring in with this. I'm just putting colour down to then go over with an aqua brush, an aqua painter. Yeah, so aqua painter. I might actually use an actual paintbrush. Okay. Too much. Too much water. There we go. And what that is just gonna do is it's just gonna activate that bright green. I can't stop using these pencils. I absolutely love them. And then it will activate the the bright blue just to give a bit of a pop of colour. A bit more water on my brush, but I don't want too much. And then before it dries, I'm just gonna fade it in to the middle. Yep, that'll do. I'll do the same on here. Start off activating the green. All the way around. And it's good because when you're doing this, you don't, you know, it's not like watercolour in flowers or a, you know, a bowl of fruit or real life art. It's just fun and it's just getting them colours going and blended together. Okay, and then just smooth, smooth it out. Same here, a bit more water. And then smoosh it out. Just blend all of that. It'll reactivate the uh, distress ink, but then it, it just helps you blend it in a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dry that off now before I add my darker layer. then it'll set them other pencil colours and they'll stay as they are. So I'm going to just follow this like line here, I think. And I'm going to go light-handed with it because I don't want too much. I don't want it to go really dark. So yeah, I'm just following that natural line of the butterfly wing there. And I'm going to do the same here. Just putting a bit of colour down. Da, da, da. Where am I? Right, what's my name? Where do I come from? Uh, here we go. Let's just activate that slightly darker colour. Okay. Da, da, da. There we go. Jobs are good. In. And here. A bit too much water there, Amanda. It's alright. And then we'll do this one. Uh, 
There we go. That'll do. Alrighty. So I'm going to... I've only really got... Um, I need to get some more colours of the... Um, these ones. <laughs> Because if you ink your edges with them, then obviously once it's dry, it's not gonna smudge and interfere with stuff. So I'll, I'd rather have it done in a blue, a nice blue, but I'm gonna have to use black just to edge to define the outer edge of that. Like I say, I don't know if I'm using two wings or one wing yet. I've not decided. Okay. So I work on my dress form now. Um, so let's do the same and ink all around the edge of that to get rid of the white marks where I've cut it out. And then... We'll decide what we'll do. I don't know if I'm going to cut all this fancy pattern away yet. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I've not decided. Right. So let's have a think. Right. So what I'm just going to do as well is I'm just going to add a little bit of a lettering. But I want it quite thin. There we go. go that'll do for me let me put my lid on there and let's see where we're gonna have this she's quite large isn't she so we might have to have her to the side I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end up cutting some of this away so that I can see what lies beneath, as it were. Let's cut away all of this fancy nonsense here. Let's have a look. Get off. Don't want you. Get off. Right, and we're going to cut that off. There we go. Get off. Right, okay. Let's have a think. How am I going to colour you? Let's do you in watercolours, why not? Let's have a look what we've got here. We'll have some pink. I'm not going for mad shading. I'm just literally laying some colour down. Um, not going for, you know, artist of the year here. It's fine. Where did that go? There. I like them to be in order or else I get a bit stressed. I don't know why, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Brown, I like that one, I think. Oh, is that brown? That's not even brown, it's purple. I'm colour blind. Picked the wrong one. So, a little bit there. A little bit there. So, if I just put a little bit of colour down, I should be able to just move it about with my, with my paintbrush. Okay, let's get an aqua, my aqua pen on the job. That's not fat enough. That one. Let's make sure it's not going to come out green. Alright, oh, too much water. So that will just bring out that brown. And I should be able to just move it about. Very easily colouring my image without too much stress. I might go back over it with, I don't know, I don't know, no idea, winging it. Pretty much how I go through life is I wing it, 
Uh, it's a little bit like driving across a roundabout with your hands over your eyes and just hoping for the best. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do. <sighs> now, I do have plans. I do. I know, I know what I'm doing. I don't. I actually don't. I'm lying. I've not got a clue. Right, so that'll do. That will do. All right, now I just want to do them little flowers. Just need to add a little tiny bit of water to them. There we go. Pop a colour. Look at that, isn't it lush? Lovely. Right, that's a flower, I think. Have we got any more? Is it just them? Just a little subtle. I think, is that a flower there? Do you think that's a flower around her neck? I think it might be. Let's add a little bit. A bit of colour. Yeah. Now I've added colour to it, you can clearly see it's like a bit of a a rose. Okay, dry it. To do right, let's Put these away. I'll put them in order in a minute. I won't make you sit there and watch me put my pens in the correct numerical order. I'm not that mean. So I'm just adding. This is a skinny sharper. Got them from Asda. Um, because I'm sick of buying expensive art pens and being hugely disappointed with them. Whereas I know sharpie is going to do what it says on the tin. So there you go, a set of two from Asda, two pound. Okay, look. So I'm just really kind of re-emphasising the lines of the stamped image a little bit. Oh, that flower, well it's leaves. And that one. Not terribly clear what's what on this stamp, which is why I don't use it the right look. But I like to think that I don't I won't waste things, so if I've got them I'm gonna use them, you know. Okay. Let's just make these a little bit more visible because they're a bit uh, nondescript aren't they? Da, da, da. I'm doing it scruffily don't need to be perfect around the edge of that flower down the edge of there Redefine that a bit. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to scribble around it. I think those are leaves. I'm not too worried. To do. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just define this flower a little bit. That's around her neck. There we go. Right, you're done. I'm bored of that now. Okay, so. I'm actually thinking, I don't like those scrappy bits, I think I'm actually going to trim them round to the flower. They're meant to be the leaves but I don't think I actually like them. Oh we go, get off, don't like you. Right. In fact, let's take that off as well. <laughs> let's just change the whole entire thing. Oh, where's my thinger? Here we go. Some more of this. There 
we go. I'm happy with that now. Where'd that come from? Over there. Right. Let's just decide whether we're going to have a full set of wings like that. It's covering up a lot of that, isn't it? Oh well. Or are we going to have just one wing like that? Right, so I'm going to put them so they look like the, yeah, like that, so they're offset. Glue those together, and then wants to go on her back like so. Yep, that's what we're wanting. She's going to go there, the wings want to go about, about there. Yep, I know it's covered up some of that butterfly, but sorry butterfly, it's hard cheddar. Okay, look. Alright, let's get some this stuck down and then we just need a cute sentiment I could maybe have gessoed some of this to like mute it a bit but I don't want to cover it I think it's pretty let's get that stuck down okay uh, okay Do our buttons so that they stand out a bit. Cute. And then we're just going to do the eyes on the butterfly. Oops. Just to give it a little bit of light so that it pops a little bit. a bit more tacking down on that and then just needs leaving to dry so what I need to do now is get all this out of my that medium first of all stick it in a some water so it doesn't go hard and then we're gonna do a sentiment so um let's have a look what we got here Choose what makes your heart bloom and play, 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 follow your dreams. I've had that the other day. Your wings already exist, all you have to do is fly. Might be a bit long, might it? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stamp that. Stamp that. And we will... Cut it down and we'll just grab some oh, I'll nick some I'll nick some white card off this that I was doing last week. Put it out. Okay. Get a block. Just need to remind myself to be careful with these and because they're the cheaper kind of stamps, if you press on too hard, they'll smoosh. And distort the the wording. If I can fit all of these words on, I will. Otherwise, we'll shorten it to all you have to do is fly. Yeah. Okay, like that. So let's have a look. Wish them wings had just stay stuck. 
Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Long scissors. Do I have any long scissors? I do, but I don't know where they are because I'm in that mess. Oh. oh, there they are. Could have told me they were only there. <laughs> Put that in shot so you can see what I'm doing. Right, let's just trim this down as it is to start with. Let me just wang the heat gun over it because what happens sometimes is if they're not fully dry and then you start cutting them out, you smudge them and it's frustrating. Should have just used three and one. I might end up gluing that back down with some beacon three and one after the video. Although three D wings, hmm, uh, just make it part of the dance. Okay. Just excuse me while I get a drink. I slept for about um, might have got an hour and a half last night, so. I'm uh, flagging a little bit. <laughs> so for drink sugary drinks, I've got uh, I'm on Fanta. I'm on the hard stuff. It's not even sugar free. <laughs> so if I have sugary drinks, then it will keep me going. It's I tell myself it's slightly better than filling myself with caffeine. Filling myself with sugary drinks. But there you go. Let's have a look. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Let's see if we can get it so it's on there without taking over. And if so, we'll have the job lot. All you have to do is fly your wings. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it down because I don't want to... I'd like to see some of the other butterflies underneath. Yep, that's better. So there we go. We've made it suit ourselves. So I'm just going to... Edge it now with some archival. I'm going to resist the urge to draw around them with my ink tense pencils and I'm going to leave it as it is today. I'm not going to push my look. Right. Put my Liquitex away. Oh, let's just use this. Let's just use this. Right. I'm trying not to use this because I'm convinced it gives me a headache, but it might not be this. Right, let's have it quite up here and then we can still see some of the layers. Okay, okay. Concentration. You can tell I'm concentrating because go quiet. All you have to do is fly. Have them all lined up like that. I think that looks kind of cool. So there you go, that is my one for this week. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. Come and join us. The uh, group link is in the description box below. Bye for now.